Last week, I hit the road in southwest WA. I started in Perth, so much fun, and checked out all the new attractions, and then managed to even catch a squid in Bustleton. But right now, I'm off to one of Australia's best wine-growing areas. Everyone knows the Margaret River. It's one of those iconic places in Australia. Famous for its wines throughout the nation and, trust me, internationally as well. Around here, you'll find a bit of a who's who of some of the very best wineries in the country. I reckon if you're going to come here, the place you really want to visit is the oldest of all the vineyards. The very first one, 50 years ago, they planted Vas Felix. Sounds like a great place to start. Now, there's something really special about the climate and location of Margaret River that gives rise to such world-renowned wines. Virginia Wilcock from Bass Felix has the whole story. Margaret River, I mean, I think it is a magical place. It's a really unique climate in the fact that we've got a Mediterranean climate, which is obviously warm, dry summer, cool wet winter, I mean seriously wet winter, but that warm dry summer is moderated considerably by, it's almost an extreme maritime influence. So you've got this really big cold ocean out there that blows a very cool breeze across this warm summer air, cools the grapes and retains this amazing freshness. Every great Cabernet region in the world is a maritime area. So I guess that means, well, I better try some. I've got this recipe in mind, something I've been wanting to cook for a while. It, it's the kind of recipe that allows the wine to really be the superstar of the dish. But for that, I don't need a white. I actually need a red. What would you recommend? I would definitely recommend our 2013 Tom Cullody. Oh, wow. That's exactly what I was looking for. I found my wine, and you just wait to see the recipe I've got in mind for this. Brilliant. What recipe am I talking about? Well, it is the classic pears in red wine, one of my all-time favourites. But to master it, you're going to need to learn three really essential tips. First up, what kind of pear? Well, the varietal doesn't matter too much, but you do need to make sure that they're really nice and firm. These, a bit hard, aren't they? Not quite ready to eat, but that makes them perfect for poaching. Well, we don't start there. We actually start with a syrup. You'll need a full bottle of red wine, a cup of sugar, a little bit of vanilla and some bay leaves, and bring that up to a simmer. Bay leaves and wine together, it's the most wonderful combination. When it starts to simmer, you'll really understand why. As for the pears, we need to get them prepped too. First up, grab yourself a peeler. And when the skin's off, we need to remove the cores as well. For that, you want a melon baller. Start from the underneath. There's one, and then two. Perfect. Then pop them straight into the wine mixture. Cover them with a baking paper and a plate to hold them down. They'll need to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're beautifully tender. Oh, smelling amazing, absolutely fantastic. Let's go and check that they're tender. And perfect. Now, here is tip number two. Turn the heat off and let the pears cool down in the syrup. That allows the wine flavour to really soak in. After all, we're trying to create pears and red wine, so let the wine do its thing. Right, while those pears are cooling down, I need to boil this to a syrup. It's going to add a lovely butterscotch kind of flavour and a bit of thickness, which is good for decorating the plate. Meanwhile, we need tip number three. You see, the red wine flavour is sharp, a bit acidic, and it's very top note. To make that really sing, you want something rich and buttery underneath it. And the best thing you can choose? Mascarpone cheese. Sweeten it lightly with a bit of icing sugar, add some amaretti biscuits for flavour, and orange zest. It's the perfect combination. Just spoon some of the syrup onto plates, then fill the pears with the mascarpone mixture and finish with a small amount of extra amaretti biscuits. It's a ridiculously simple recipe that anyone can make for family dinner any night you choose. But best of all, you're getting the fresh seasonal pears and the incredible flavour of great Australian wine. Ahead, another local specialty.